There's a lot of talk about antibodies these days, but they're not the only fighters our immune system has to offer. When it comes to COVID-19, the most helpful first defense are those antibodies that stick around after an infection. They know how to get rid of the virus because they just did. Well, this could mean that if you had some other form of coronavirus in the past, like the strains that cause the common cold, you may have these memory T cells that will keep the virus from getting you sick. Stop leaving your fake eyelashes on the coffee table. Then put the toilet seat down, Ryan. We've talked about Wi-Fi connectivity issues with both rural and urban communities. This access divide. Antenna to antenna to antenna, as many as they can to pass the connection along to students in areas that don't normally have access because of geography or cost. Speaking of cost, this is not cheap. The district estimates it'll have a $750,000 price tag at least, but they're hoping to find that funding through their budget and grants. The state has a few options. And another solution is way above us. But yeah, you gotta keep going. Satellites. Yes, they've been helpful in areas that don't have the ground infrastructure, but service can be spotty, expensive, and slow. The answer, though, may be moving those satellites lower, like what SpaceX is doing with their Starlink mission. These low-Earth orbit satellites are meant to produce faster speeds with minimal lag time because of how much closer they are. In a simulation study by the Journal of Occupational and Environment Hygiene, they found when a healthcare worker was within a foot and a half distance from a cough, a face shield reduced immediate viral exposure by 96%, unlike our homemade cloth masks that are more for protecting others. Studies have not been done yet on whether a shield will also provide that benefit of protecting others. Several hundred of them will, will sort of surround it and create a ball of honeybees around it. They can generate heat inside that ball up to like 115 degrees. cutting the cable cord and switching your viewership to other online platforms. Don't cut your cable with scissors, that's not how it works. I guess it depends on what you want. What the snow looks like. If you're all about live TV, you have a bunch of options. There's Hulu, Sling, AT&T TV Now, and YouTube TV. Some have DVR options too. The best way to find out what would work best for you is to go online and look at the channels that each provider can give you, because those vary. Or if you're more interested in getting the original programming that's getting a lot of attention recently. Do the magic hand thing. You have the choice to create a second tragedy or continue to move through. I mean, Ian was a warrior. Like he fought so, so hard. There was nothing that would have stopped him from, from being able to live one more day. So I try to like carry his, his spirit and his drive into the way that I live my life too two-hour stretches. At this point, the concentration should be more on getting their circadian rhythm right, differentiating days from nights. Around six months, that stretch should be a little longer. And this post that broke my heart. Today was extremely tough for me not to be allowed to go to the 20-week checkup. However, I'm elated to know my baby girl is healthy and perfect. I can't wait to hold you in my arms, my princess. I love you so much. I got five things in particular. One, they're gonna look at that growth chart. They're gonna look at diet, sleep, both for baby and mom and dad. They're gonna get you caught up on any immunization. So let's talk about that growth chart for a second. I know every mom and dad wants to know how big and tall their kid's gonna be. Especially me, I get it. I am vertically challenged, so I wanna know how big my kid's gonna be. But that growth chart doesn't necessarily depict how big they're gonna be when they become adults. In 2004, more than half of Hispanic students and 60% of black students in Colorado were proficient or better in reading. Last year at Wyatt, Means says the achievement gap continues to shrink, with Hispanic students and all low-income students beating the state average in math scores. 